But you know, God is faithful even when things aren't going well. And I know a lot of us go through trials. Is God really faithful in our trial? That's what I was wrestling with. And I love this verse. Many of you know this verse, but I'm going to read it again. Romans 8, 28. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good. All things, right? All things. God causes all things, the good and the bad. Accidents. We think they're accidents. But God is also sovereign. Remember, God is faithful. He's faithful to everything about him. He's all-powerful. He's sovereign. He's a good God. He wants what's best for us. So even the bad things, the things that we think that God was sleeping when he allowed that, no, he wasn't. All things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. I highlighted the word good because in the past, when I would read that verse, for me, the version of good is comfort. The version of good is financial blessing. The version of good is good health. The version of good is a good family. And so I would read that verse and I'd be like, okay, God, you promise that all of these things, these bad things, are for my good. So where is that blessing I'm looking for? But we don't read the second verse. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You see, the good, the best, is that we be conformed to the image of his son. And in my finite mind, I will not ever always be able to answer the question why. There are things that God is doing that I can't fully understand. The temptation is to ask the question why. And it's not wrong to ask why. Because the psalmist, that's what they did. They say, why? How long, God? Why? But if you stay on that question why, it's very dangerous. Because the reality is, we may never really know the reason why in this life. But if we could zoom out, and if we were God, and knowing that God is faithful to who he is, is God good all the time? He is. All the time he's good. He's a God of love. He's a God of just. He's sovereign. So he allows certain things in your life to happen. Why was I born with a birth defect, you may say? Why, why did my parents die at such a young age? Why am I sick all of a sudden? Do you know what the greatest good in your life is? That you and I be conformed to the image of God so that we can reflect his glory. And when you see that and understand that, you will now say, okay, Lord, I may not really fully be able to understand why, but I do know that you're doing something, and I'll trust you. And so the question I'm going to ask now is, how can I glorify you?